Hey, hi Sam, how you doing girl? So I want to hear directly from you um, how you feel about being featured. Of course, you have had a lot of, a lot of features, a whole lot of features, and including in, um, in, in Art Node. As a matter of fact, as far as I know, I don't, I, I don't know of any real other um, professional Art Node band in Jamaica, of, of some, especially print. So, how do you feel, really and truly, being featured in such a high-profile uh, magazine as, as I am? Art News magazine because as I say it's not it's not easy to get featured in that in that magazine. It's not a lot of models that get featured each issue. So it is it's highly selective. You know, so your work have to be really good. Of course the work put out by the model and photographer have to be really good. And this is the second time you got featured. Um, with quite a lot of pictures. I think the first one was about ten pictures. This one is twelve. And in both of the features, you are the only, you are the only black woman in in the both of them. How you feel about it? Super, super excited. Yeah, says a little more, a little more. In how I mean, knowing that you are the only black woman, well, definitely the only Jamaican woman. Um, you know, I mean, what 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 does it mean for you? You know, in, in, in general, having having this kind of accomplishment after starting so late in modeling. I am, as I said, super excited. It, especially when I see that I almost took almost half the magazine or with over 12 pictures. So it's a great feeling. And not just the first time, but actually second time be- being featured in the magazine as the only black woman. So, yeah. Words can't express. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I know. And I'm and I'm excited for you too. I am I am super super excited. That's a that's a big deal, you know. Of course, for for black women. And yes, of course, especially for Jamaican and and Caribbean women, that's a big deal. That's big. Um, I mean, is there, you know, out of the experience, is there something that you would say, you know, to other black women who might feel and worse it, black women who are moms and so forth? Um, you know, is there any inspiration that you maybe could give them out of this experience? The sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. Go mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a child or having children doesn't yeah. hinder you from pursuing your dreams. If there is a stretch mark or a few little marks, then yeah, that yeah. still doesn't hinder you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's one exactly, and that's one of the things that I love about um, about this type of modeling, art, art, arts modeling, is that it doesn't. Um, it's not like some of the other aspects of modeling where you have to get, you know, photoshopped, and you you have to, you know, that kind of thing. Um, art modeling allow you to be presented naturally as you are. You know, with any little flaws, with any little thing. That's that's personally one of the things that I I, I love about it. You know, how, how you feel about that in particular? Really good, really good. It it gives you courage that you need to embrace yourself. Just be you mm-hmm. and love yourself for you, no matter the flaws you have. Just look past it and embrace you mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah man yeah 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 and yeah, of course i have the i have the distinction and pleasure of being your your manager and photographer which is just a great experience only thing i'm sorry about is that we hadn't got to shoot in quite a while yet but let's hope that 
Yes, hope we can make it happen again soon and, and create some more lovely art, artwork. Art is, art is created for people to enjoy and appreciate. And um, yeah, there is, there is much more for, for you and I to create together so that the world can, can enjoy. I mean, imagine you have never been to Australia. You have never been to Europe, you have never been to many other countries where your work has been featured. And of course, this this magazine um, is, is, is seen by people all over the world. So here you are, here's your talent being seen all over the world without you having to travel. <laughs> How you feel about that? That's, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Yeah. Again, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah really right. excited. Yeah. Well, there you have it. You heard from the lady herself, Twilight. Now the truth is that she is the second Jamaican young lady that has been featured in the Iron magazine, and I have the privilege of being the only photographer who have had work featured so yes i am the photographer who got these two models featured and it's it's really special a small country like jamaica getting this type of opportunity to showcase our talent at this level it's really great the first model i got featured was actually adrian martin and unfortunately i couldn't get a hold of her to get a voice recording but i'm going to read from the article where she spoke um in one of the uh, features that she got so i'll speak a quote from her what she said as to how she felt being featured and this is just a part of the article referring specifically to this feature on our first shoot i felt so comfortable with michael that i surprised myself by doing some news i didn't hesitate when he asked me our second shoot was outdoors and i felt confident and comfortable shooting news i it felt so natural i've had issues with confidence and these photos helped me boost that for a while i was comfortable sharing the photos openly when michael told me about this magazine i thought it was the right time and place to do so i know i have a god-given beauty and for me this is a celebration of me as one of god's masterpieces i know not everyone appreciates art nudes but because of the negative stigma associated with pornography however I am happy to be part of this magazine where the art is showcased and appreciated as it should be in a very positive way. Adrian. So, on behalf of myself, the models, and I dare say Jamaica, this little spot of island in the Caribbean, Jamaica, I want to say I must emphasize a big gratitude of thanks to Stephen Wong of Covergirl Photography, the editor, all right, and owner of Iron Art News Magazine. I really want to say, as we say in Jamaica, a big up to Stephen Wong for giving us the opportunity of being represented at this level all right being able to showcase uh, the the beauty of our jamaican people in particular our jamaican women who really represents the beauty of our country on a whole and the and the artistic uh, talent that we have here thank you again Stephen for giving us this wonderful opportunity and I personally thank you because you have helped me to grow as a photographer in this area and I really thank you again and I am looking forward to having more work being featured in your magazine One Love Yaman yeah,